What y'all got going on YouTube? It's your boy Casper and we is back with another video, man. I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute, man, but I'm finna come back with some more bangers. In today's video, we're gonna be answering the question and it's a really big ass question in my comment section. And the question is, how am I able to afford my ZL1, my crib, all that good stuff, you feel me? So I'm gonna be letting y'all know like how much it costs to fill the tank. And then I'm gonna get to explaining y'all like all like the details behind how I'm able to afford everything that I got. So you too can afford something just like it, you feel me? But we about to start up the ZL1. I'm gonna give y'all a cold start. We got my boy Cal in the back, man. I had to get him to start up the vlog, y'all. This nigga Casper was in the house bullshitting <laughs> on, on his ass, hey, not doing shit. Y'all know look Casper got down, be kicking it and cooling it too much, but it's time for me to step back out of my comfort zone. I don't get back to my vlog and shit, man. But yeah, man, like I said, we about to tell y'all how much the car costs and how I'm able to afford everything that I got in my life so you too can afford some of the same shit, man. But we finna get straight into it. Like I said, I'm finna get y'all a cold start real quick, though. What y'all got going on, man? Sorry to interrupt the video, but I just had to let y'all know this. Like, a lot of people be hitting me up all the time asking me, how can y'all make money? And I'm gonna let y'all know how right now. So it's currently 2.36 at night. I'm about to show y'all, man. Y'all check the time on my phone. It is currently 2.36 right now, man. But I'm about to show y'all how I just cashed out $750 directly into my bank account. So everybody asks me all the time, how do I make money, man? I'm going to let y'all know it's easy. I'm going to show y'all right now. It's a couple steps. Just listen to me. Hear me click out. Click the link down below inside of my bio. And once you click the link in my bio, this is all you got to do. It's a couple quick, easy steps. Okay, so follow these exact steps and you can earn your award. All you got to do to earn your award is click on one of my videos and go to my description. You can click on the current video you're watching right now and go to my description. You want to click on the link inside of my description. After clicking on the Make link, sure you open it in your browser. When you open it in your browser, click right here so you can open it up in Safari. Once you open it up in Safari, all you got to do is fill out a couple of these quick steps. So you're going to go here. How do you plan to use your account? You want to keep it. Uh, you tell them how much you shop per week. After doing this, it's going to take a little second. You're going to put in your email. Hold up. I'm going to type in my email real quick. Can't show y'all that. Continue. And then from there, you go do the optional survey. All right. It's going to take me a little second to do this. So we're going to fill out the survey. Fill out everything correctly, answer all the questions. And you're a couple steps away from getting your $750 cash reward. So after this, you put in your phone number, you finish filling everything out, and then you're almost to where you gotta be at the end of the road in order to collect your reward. Next, you're gonna do the optional offers. After completing the optional offers, you gotta do two deals. So for the deals, I like to do Dice Dreams, or you can do Live Play Bingo. Both of these are the best ones to do to collect your reward. So all you gotta do is download one game. I usually download two just to make sure I get my money guaranteed. So. Click download the game. After downloading the game, you're gonna open it and you're gonna let it run for a little second. So we just gonna sit here, gonna let the game run for a little second. We're gonna play it. All right, so we're gonna play the game for a little bit, let it run through. Okay, so we started at 236 and we finished the surveys and all the deals at about three o'clock. And it's 12 minutes later, and I just got another $750, y'all. I'm about to cash it out right now. But it's got a whole nother $750, bro. I told y'all. I told y'all. I finished completing the survey and my deals at about like 3 o'clock, bro. It's nothing but... It's nothing but 312, bro. Y'all can see it. It's nothing but 312. Like, bro, my hands are literally shaking. It's only 312. So it's 12 minutes later and my $750 is in my cash out. We is about to literally go shopping with this money tomorrow, man. But y'all folks, just stay tuned, bro. Like I said, bro, this is an easy way to make money, man. All you got to do is click the link in my bio and follow those steps I just showed you. And you too can have $750 reward, man. Yeah, but I'm gonna see y'all folks later. Right, so we is in the whip right now. We about to go fill the gas tank up and stuff like that. So I can show y'all like, you feel me? How much it costs to fill up a ZL1. Like today's video is really just about like my expenses and how I keep up with my expenses, you feel me? So yeah, man, I'm just gonna be explaining to y'all like how much it costs to fill the tank up, you feel me? Cost of like my tires and all that good stuff. And then we gonna get to telling y'all how I'm able to afford everything that I got. But yeah, man, we is on the way to the gas station right now. We is sitting in traffic. I don't know if y'all know anything about Atlanta, but Atlanta, I don't care if you on the highway, street, I don't care where you at. It's guaranteed to be traffic somewhere in Atlanta, bro. Like it's always like that. 
and I don't know why. Let me get around you, little bro. But yeah, I don't know why it's always traffic in Atlanta. Atlanta is the place and home of people that can't drive. And yeah, man, with that being said, it's just guaranteed that no matter where you go, bro, it's gonna be, you feel me, it's gonna be some traffic. Why bitches behind their light? I mean, why girls behind their light? So I don't know. They probably don't be getting it. Cause y'all female wanna be fake famous. That's why y'all behind your lights. Say La Casper does it. I don't give a fuck. I'm the one that's gonna put it out there, bro. Y'all females be living these fake bougie lifestyles and be acting like everything y'all peaches and cream went. In reality, y'all really be struggling on a day to day basis. And y'all female be having like 50 likes on y'all pictures wanting to be Jada Waiter and shit. That would really be going on behind closed doors. But yeah, man. They say we is in the whip ski. You feel me? In the Big ZL1, y'all see I ain't got no okay. gas in that bit. When we finna go, uh, you feel me, fill her up, cause this bitch definitely needs some fuel, folks. Niggas say, we driving this bitch in sport mode so we could drive as much gas out of this bitch as we can before we get to our destination. Because I'm trying to give y'all like, an actual fill up, you feel me? Like, not trying to fill up half the tank, I'm trying to fill up the whole thing, so. Casper is in here wasting some gas right now. If y'all hear the supercharger wine, man, this is all edited and uh, amplified in order to entertain y'all better, man. You feel me? All of this is a uh, motion picture. Look, lad. What the fuck are you doing? Sure. Niggas say, boy. On the way to the gas station, I don't know how far we is because I'm following Cal's directions. But yeah, man. Nigga say, wee! Whoa, get your ass. Y'all don't want to be around your ass. Your ass tripping in your little C300. And sweet. Say, is that tripping in his little C300? I don't want to be nowhere near your ass. Yeah, wildin' P. But yeah, folks, we is outside right now in Atlanta. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what it is about females and C300s and niggas and they Nissan Maximus, but they always want to race me. I don't want no smoke with y'all ass. Oh, God, y'all got that shit. I'm not a road demon or a warrior, and I really don't want no smoke with y'all ass. I be letting these folk have that shit on a regular day-to-day -day basis. These folk in this car next to me funny as hell. I guess they either A, know who I am, or B, just see me vlogging and think I'm finna put them on the camera, but right. folk just <laughs> waved at me and tried to goddamn get my attention. I'm I'm, I'm trying not to make eye contact with these folks. And everything too. They did? Yeah. I'm I ain't seen no roll down the window, but yeah. I was gonna say did. though, you said what? <laughs> What's going on? You vlogging? Y'all yeah. vlogging? Yeah. Y'all yeah. cute. A YouTuber, yeah. Cute, Thank you. Cow. Thank you. How y'all doing? Huh? She said you cute, Kyle. Uh, what a so I like, What I was gonna say though? Y'all have a nice day on my soul. Y'all wanna be on the camera or something? Uh, uh my friend. Yeah. Said now. She just started YouTube. She just started YouTube? She keep doing it. Why you ain't vlogging? She was. You you probably had your camera out right now. I, I don't did my vlog for the day. She said I did my vlog for the day. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a nice one. Okay. What I was gonna say though? Yeah, these folk funny as hell, man. But uh, Man, that's so random. That just be that random shit was just shit. random as hell. But what I was gonna say though? They trying to call me cute and shit. Hey, bro, they just threw me off. They trying to riz, they trying to riz niggas up and shit. Niggas say L riz. How the fuck <laughs> did they even see me? They gonna call me fuck, for shit. bro. They want to talk to anybody in the car. They thought a nigga was finna ask for somebody number yeah, or something. Hell they say no. shout it. I'm extra straight. Oh god. They say I don't want to hop down on nothing. Trying to hop down on me, y'all ass got that shit. Now they look embarrassed. She's still staring at me. I this bet she is was embarrassed because <laughs> motherfuckers just trying to hop down. Hey. Man, they thought they was the Rizzlers, man. What the? You supposed to make a left up there. But we good. We had to waste gas. That's why I tell you. I hate you, Twin. I told you, man. You know we going. We had to waste gas. You not lying, though. But nah, bro. I, we just got rizzed down by a female. <laughs> motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker thought she was the Rizzler. That shit just blew me. Okay. But yeah, bro, I was going to say, though, that shit just blew me. Like, they was dead ass just, like, trying to rizz a nigga down. Yeah, that was fucking insane. I ain't going to Hey, look, though. Thank y'all for the compliments, though. Y'all made me feel good about myself. Cause Lord knows, I ain't got no haircut. I feel like a real regular schmegler ass nigga. Oh God! They they just seen the nigga in a sports car with a camera, and they thought that was they thought it was finna go differently. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Living in Atlanta is a funny place. Like Atlanta is damn near like 
I will almost say Atlanta ain't real, bro. Like, Atlanta is really a simulation for real, if y'all want to be completely honest, bro. Like, niggas swear to God, Atlanta is like the GTA money glitch. I ain't gonna lie. After Quan bought his car twin, everybody told me some uh, the GTA money, money glitch is unlocked. <laughs> they, they, they say, niggas say, it, niggas Atlanta say, Avengers. They call us Atlanta Avengers. I'm gonna be 100 with y'all, bro. <laughs> there is no money glitch, bro. There is no money. There is no money glitch, bro. But I am finna tell y'all in this video today how y'all can make money the same way we do as content creators, entrepreneurs, or whatever you want to call it. You feel me? So y'all folks just stay tuned. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all be thinking like everything is just like fake and a simulation. <laughs> y'all be thinking everything is just like all magical and just like cars gonna fall out of the sky if you press up, right, <laughs> down, left, right. Huh? This guy cats take it. For real? <laughs> but that's... <laughs> That, that's not what this is. I'm not gonna lie too, bro. Like I said, Atlanta is a simulation, bro. Niggas out here stealing catalytic converters. We got uh, we got a gas station in Atlanta, bro. I promise you it's like a GTA spawn location. If y'all don't know about the mix, y'all don't know about the racetrack or the mix, man, y'all go do your research, man. They say do your homework, man. I'm telling y'all. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on in Atlanta, bro. Atlanta is like the hub of like upcoming, I don't know what you want to call it. Everybody don't want to be an entrepreneur or a, Hey man, Atlanta's the hub though, bro. It's a lot of yeah, stuff going on works. in Atlanta. Yeah, nobody works a regular job in Atlanta, like. And if you do work a regular job, there's nothing wrong with that. But for the most part, bro, everybody in Atlanta is doing something. But yeah, man, in today's video, I will be exposing how I make my money and how I'm able to afford my car, my gas, my my repairs on my car, you feel me? How I'm able to afford my penthouse, you feel me? How I'm able to afford my lifestyle in general, because I know a lot of people want to live the same lifestyle that we live as content creators, you feel me? So. Like I keep telling y'all folks, just stay tuned, man. We're going to get into it. Right now, we trying to go fill the tank up. I ain't going to lie. It's been taking a long time for the light to change. This light's been red for like five, ten minutes. But this shit pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Y'all folks, just stay tuned. I'll get back to y'all when we at the gas station, man. Fuck hey, nah. All jokes aside, though, like, if y'all females ever see this blog, like, no disrespect to y'all, but to the females that try to hot down to me today in the car, like, side eye. All jokes aside, like... Y'all know y'all at dead ass wrong, like. <laughs> on somebody's song, mind you, you were passenger seat buggy. That's one. You weren't even a driver. No, the one, tried, the one in the front seat trying to hop down. And then the one in the back trying to hop down. For two, okay. it's four. It's four mid balls in a goddamn car, <laughs> like. Hey, bro, all just aside, bro, if y'all see this video, bro, everybody beautiful in their own shape, one form, look, Casper, Jet don't condone the fuckery, and me personally, I have a, a non-BBW preference, but, hey, man, I love everybody, y'all all beautiful in y'all own skin, and me personally, bro, I never said I wouldn't fuck a BBW, I just said it's not my preference, but yeah, man, what I was gonna say, y'all folks, uh, y'all folks got down, keep watching the video, man, if y'all ain't seen, if y'all ain't, if y'all ain't seen, uh, I don't know what the fuck I was finna say. Kai just threw me off. He giving me directions and I'm driving at the same time, so I'm trying to multitask. But what I was gonna tell y'all folks is, man, if y'all is still watching the video right now, man, y'all go to the comment section and comment ghost family in the comment section with a ghost emoji so I know y'all still tuning into the video, man. And go like. And you feel me, uh, you feel me, cut on post notifications, sub, you feel me, like, go do all of that. You feel me, right now, before the video end. Don't wait till the video end to spam the comment section. Spam the comments right now, like the video right now, you feel me. And yeah, man, y'all folks just stay tuned. I'm trying to make this pretty entertaining, because I know this is an educational video and an informational video, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to teach y'all, like, how to, you feel me, afford these cars and these cribs and make money and, you feel me, like, afford the gas and all, yep, yeah, and all these different expenses and stuff like that but yeah man i'm also trying to make it fun at the same time because ain't nobody trying to just bore y'all niggas talking about money the whole fucking video but yeah y'all folks stay tuned we is at the gas station we finna fill up a uh, big bertha because i done drove this bitch to e on sport mode through the city and yeah man we we finna fill her up and y'all gonna see how much it costs to fill it but i will see y'all folks in a second all right child so we is at the gas station right now we is filling up big bertha little bertha whatever you want to call her i call her the ghost because you feel me my name cash we might as well call my car the ghost you feel me but i was gonna say look we is at it's at 13 dollars right now man if it's still going man i'm not gonna count for this car to be as small as it is this bitch is a real gas guzzler y'all don't gotta believe me if y'all don't want to i'm gonna show y'all the facts right now but yeah man this little lad car be eating up hella gas i promise y'all like no kidding me so we is already at 20 this is still going 
But yeah, man, this bitch be easy, man. For this bitch to have a little ass tank, this bitch eat like it's a goddamn fucking SUV or some shit. I don't know what the fuck be wrong with this damn car. They ain't gonna give my bitch a watch. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this bitch is dirty. Say, say, bitch, Bertha ass is dirty as fuck, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When your car all black, believe it or not, you can tell that bitch dirty pretty easy. All black cars, when they get dirty, they look dirty. I used to think white cars look dirty when they get dirty, but they don't. They just look yellow. Black cars, bro, you can see the dirt speckles on that bitch. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna nigga, my car look crazy. This bitch look mad dusty. It might not look that bad on camera, though, but that shit look, it look terrible in person. Believe that. Man, it bitch still going. I'm telling y'all folks, dude, this is a real gas guzzler, man. Say we at $40 and counting this bitch still eating shit, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think this bitch will probably stop at like $60. Sometimes it be costing me like $80 to fill the tank up depending on where I'm at. But I ain't gonna lie, we in the city right now, so it's gonna be kinda bad, but it ain't gonna be that bad. I'm talking about, but we's at a, we's at a 50 about it, it's still going, folks. Say, say, little mama thirsty, big laugh. So I ain't gonna lie to you, this. Hell yeah, they be thirsty as hell today. I be telling nigga, bro, it's a little ass car, but this bitch a real gas guzzler. No, this boy just went king size Kit Kat. <laughs> we got king size Kit Kat and then we got just for the car. Just for the car. Yeah, just for the car, you, you gotta, gotta have some one of these. <laughs> let, me, let me put y'all on. Okay. So when y'all go, on go to a vibe house, okay. and you pull, pull up in that lamb truck. Okay. They, they don't expect you to smell good. You gotta have that shit on. Something like this. But this okay. is just a little light shit for today. It's a little light shit for the day. But you gotta have on something like this. Make sure you have your jewelry on and shit. Okay. And then you gotta have, before you pick them up, you gotta make sure you spray a little bit of cologne in the A car. little bit of cologne in Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then, <clears throat> what you gonna do? You gonna get one of this from your cup holder. Or not yeah, your cup holder, but your, but the center console or whatever. Okay, we know what you mean. Put, take the gum out, put it in your mouth, chill a little bit, like, probably like three minutes before you get there so your breath smell good and then you spit it out. Just so you don't think shit. So you be like, damn, this nigga smell good, you look good. And his breath smell good. And then she gonna wanna fuck. And then you check back to your spot. Say it. How just gave you the coochie cheat code, man? Like, like, what I was gonna say though, I told y'all this bitch probably gonna stop at like 60, man. This bitch, it probably could've went a little bit more, man, but I, I ain't gonna overfill my tank, cause if y'all don't know nothing about overfilling your car, you can fuck your shit up doing that shit. But yeah, man, we was finna get in this bitch and ride out. I will see y'all folks uh, back at the spin out so I could explain everything. be hearing me complain about this car is because I need a four door. But other than that though, I really don't have no complaints against the ZL1 other than the fucking space in this bitch. You feel me? But other than that, like, this shit really cool. You feel me? Atlanta has the worst roads in the fucking world, nigga. I promise y'all to God, like, everything in Atlanta feel like a speed bump and it's the regular fucking street, bruh. I hear this bitch screeching. I ain't gonna lie, this bitch is a, a loud ass hoe when it wanna be. Hold up. They say, you know, walk it up the street a little bit. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The pools in this bitch be so nasty and we ain't even in track mode. That's the one thing about it. Like, niggas say, we really just cruising this bitch. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. It look good in Atlanta, man. Can I give them a little view of the city? These niggas. You nigga don't even get a chance to really see what Atlanta look like for real. Folks be talking about Atlanta and they be in the hood and shit. Like, this is the city of Atlanta, folks. Like, I know a lot of y'all get like misconceptions of what Atlanta is, but this is the city of Atlanta. Like, all the shit that niggas be showing y'all really don't be the city of Atlanta. That shit be the south side, the east side, the west side. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But Atlanta, like, you feel me? Like, it really look good when you be in the city for real. Damn, this shuttle bus driving slow as shit. We is almost at the crib, though, folks. Uh, when we get there, I'm going to finally sit down and just be able to, like, explain to y'all, like, different ways to generate income and monetize ourselves. <laughs> Niggas say, ooh! But, yeah. Niggas say, I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. This bitch be getting nasty. We probably, like, five, ten minutes away from the spot right now, y'all. But when we get to the spot... 
to just really get a chance to like explain to y'all like you feel me how I'm able to generate the income I do and make the money I do off of social media and how I monetize myself and stuff like that and hopefully it'll be able to motivate y'all inspire y'all to just give y'all some information so that y'all could manage to do the same stuff that I be doing you feel me we finna cut through this uh, gas station real quick you feel me we don't, I don't really like stopping at red lights say little bro I mess with you but can you please get out of my way unky he folk got too much going on over here I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We tried to take a shortcut. Shortcut did not work, folks. It's hella folks got down coming. Oh my god, bro. Just just go, bro. Mm. They say, let me out, please. Fuck with me, please. Mm. Everybody had the same idea. Alright, y'all. We finna got down. Give y'all one more little nasty pull. You feel me? Cut up one more time. And then we gonna cut the camera and I will open it back up when we is in the spot so I can talk to y'all. You feel me? Hold up, y'all. Here we go. Move! To the people that don't know, when you downshift, folks, it's way better than using your brakes. I suggest not using your fucking brakes. That shit is really like, you really just be wasting money and shit. But yeah, man, we is about to pull up at the spin out in a little second, so I'll come back to y'all folks when I'm there. If y'all can't tell, we are back at the crib, and that means it is time for the moment y'all been waiting for, man. And I don't know if y'all can tell by the title of the thumbnail, but the moment y'all been waiting for it is how does Casper make his money or how can I make money to be able to afford the same things that Casper got, if not more than what I have. You get what I'm saying? So like a lot of people are interested in how I'm able to afford my car, uh, afford my, my crib that I stay in and afford my, my clothes and my shoes and all of my accessories and stuff without working a regular job. And I'm finna explain to you exactly how I do it. So. For one, I want to tell y'all the main thing to take from this is bro, learn how to use the internet. The internet is what got me to where I'm at now, bro. What I mean by that is like, it's a thousand ways to make money without having to punch a clock. And it's nothing wrong with punching the clock, bro. But until you realize that the fucking hours you spending in your nine to five, you could be making the same amount of money in an hour on your own from your house, bro. You're going to be stuck in a rat trap, bro. Like, it's nothing wrong with working a regular job. I worked a regular job to get in the position where I am now. I probably wouldn't be half as humble or know how to manage my money how I do if I didn't have a job. So I always would tell people, bro, nothing wrong with working a job. Work your job until you get to the position where you don't have to work your job. You get what I'm saying? But I always tell people, like, your end goal should be able to be, like, to be your own boss and work for yourself but no one wants to wake up punching the clock or answering yes or no to a man or a woman every day you know what i'm saying you want to be able to be your own boss your own person but the internet is gonna be your key bro so like for me bro a lot of the reasons i'm able to afford everything that i got now is because i learned how to monetize my lifestyle like i know people want to see me on a day-to-day -day basis which is why i vlog which is why i show people the stuff that i do every day because i know people want to see my lifestyle because it's a lifestyle that a lot of people don't get to live you get what i'm saying but everybody can live the life that i'm living everybody has the same amount of opportunity you just gotta open your eyes and like really just look at it for what it is at the end of the day i don't care if you're a vlogger a rapper a singer you make clothes, I don't care if you do e-commerce, Shopify, whatever you're doing. I don't care if it's Amazon, FBA. At the end of the day, the reason why all of these people are becoming millionaires, billionaires, or even just thousandaires, the reason why people are able to make the amount of money they're making right now and change their lives as quicker as they're changing their lives is because they learn how to use the internet the correct way. It's bigger than just picking up your phone to make cell phone calls, text messages, or jump on Instagram and scroll down your feed. But when you learn how to market yourself, market your product or market whatever you trying to give to the people that's when you'll be able to change your life like it I once I realized like it's people out here in this world that legitimately will pay you to show them how to do what you're doing you get what I'm saying so like that's why I provide ebooks and stuff like that I feel like that's kind of my way of giving back in a way like yeah my ebooks cost $20 whatever the case may be small amounts of money but the knowledge I'm giving people in those ebooks is knowledge that I would have never got on the street from a person just telling me you know what I'm saying that's a lot of stuff that people ain't just gonna tell you in life you gotta figure out on your own but I think that's why having a mentor or like having someone to help you along the way I'm not gonna say you need one because I didn't have one but if you can't have one bro it'll definitely help you get 
farther, which is why I make my ebooks. That's why I did my mentorships and I did all the stuff that I did. But uh, what I would tell people is, again, bro, I'm gonna say it a thousand times before the video and learn how to use the internet, bro. Once you learn how to get on TikTok and make a post with this t-shirt that you wanna sell and you learn how to market yourself the right way, is nothing you could do this gonna be impossible at that point because I'm telling you, bro, you know how to take whatever you are doing, show it to people, market it to people and make people want to buy it. People will buy your lifestyle, buy your books, buy your clothes, buy whatever you're trying to sell, bro. It's not hard, bro. You just got to put your mind to it and do it. And I think the biggest thing for me is, bro, like I created everything that I made just to show people this stuff is possible. Like go back to my first vlog, look at, look at the crib I was staying in, look at my situation. I had no car, no license, no nothing. I showed y'all this to show y'all everything is possible, bro. Like the ebooks is to show y'all that like y'all can make money different ways other than having to go out in the streets and sell drugs and stuff like that, bro. Like the internet is going to be our ticket, bro. So I keep telling folks, bro, it's like don't be scared to step outside your comfort zone. Bro. You're gonna you're gonna fail a thousand times before you get your one big W. But like, yeah, bro, the way I make my money is off the internet, people. So if y'all wanna learn how to make money like Lil Casper, y'all wanna learn how to live the lifestyle I live, bro. Learn how to sell t-shirts, learn how to make ebooks, learn how to pick up a camera and just walk around and vlog yourself and be entertaining, bro. And don't be scared to be you because a lot of these people is scared to do something that might change their life forever. You get what I'm saying? Don't be scared to make that one move that might be the move that take you out of the hood or take you out of your living situation and feed your family for the rest of your life. You get what I'm saying? Don't be that person that was scared to be different. Like, bro, step outside your comfort zone. Do stuff that you really want to do and don't care what nobody got to say about it because at the end of the day, bro, nobody's going to support you until you get to where you want to be or until you're until you made it, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really gonna support you on the way up. And the people that do support you on the way up, keep them around you, cause those people are genuine. It's not a lot of them out here, but what I would tell y'all folks to do is, bro, lock in, whatever you wanna do, make sure you stay consistent. Consistency is key, bro. It's easy to, it's easy to fall off and it's way harder to get on. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, bro, stay consistent, stay hungry, keep grinding, and learn how to use the internet. I'm telling you, bro, the internet is what's changing these thousand dollar businesses and a million dollar and billion dollar businesses bro end of the day without the internet bro you wouldn't know who i am and you wouldn't know who all these other people are and y'all would have never seen these people if they weren't consistent putting it in y'all face and giving y'all something to look look at or giving y'all something to watch something to read putting these products these clothes in y'all face or putting whatever they put in y'all face the point of this video is you want to learn how to be in a position i'm in learn how to be a producer and not a consumer everybody is buying something so you learn how to make something or sell yourself you're going to be stuck in the box that everybody's stuck in and that box is being a consumer bro it's easy to wake up every day and go buy a product from walmart target whatever the case may be is but it's hard to sell something once y'all learn how to market once y'all learn how to use the internet bro, that's when your life is going to change that's when your situation is going to change and money's going to change and start coming in a little bit differently these people ain't waking up every day going door to door doing sales like how they used to but these po they posting the ad and it's selling itself you get what i'm saying the same thing with with vlogger these folks is making these videos learning how to create creative content good thumbnails good titles bro and at the end of the day it, that's a product you know what i'm saying you just got to learn how to make money off of being you and being yourself and expressing yourself in whatever form it is going to be whether it's clothes music vlogging you feel me tattoos i don't care what you do bro it's different ways to express yourself bro. just be different stay true to you and i promise you y'all folks can make money live the lifestyles you want to live and be in the same position that i'm in or any other content creator that you look up to you know what i'm saying and all i want y'all to take from this video is just like keep going bro. like don't stop bro the road gonna get hard is it's gonna be a lot of struggles and stuff like that my best advice to y'all is bro remember right before shit get easy life get really really hard right before something big come your way bro you're gonna take a thousand small ills so just remember bro, like as hard as life gets bro, it's just testing you bro to see if you're gonna be ready for when life really come and start working out in in your favor you know what i'm saying so just keep going so 
anybody that's watching this video right now, man, I hope what I told y'all today will help y'all. I hope, like, y'all took something from this video or learned something that could benefit y'all in y'all life and put y'all in a better position. And if y'all didn't, I hope the video was entertaining, man. But y'all folks know what time it is, man. LaCasper is checking out, man. Y'all folks, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And LaCasper, see y'all folks in the next video.